Hi, welcome to a sunny St Francis of Assisi Church in Bournemouth. Let's take a look at what we've done inside here. Hi, once inside the church you can see that broadly this is a Anglo-Catholic style of interior. So it was important that whatever we did in here didn't impinge too much on the architecture and the feel of the building. For this particular job, the customer was keen on using flat screens rather than a projector and screen, as there is nowhere realistically to hide a projection screen at the front of the church. But the screens themselves were important to be able to be folded away behind the pillars when not in use. This was quite a challenge, getting a large enough screen, but being able to conceal it behind the pillar. For this we came up with an innovative bracket solution. As you can see here from behind the screen, the bracket has a number of pivot points in it. This allows us to draw the screen backwards and around the corner and compress the screen inwards so that when it's folded back against the wall it only sticks out marginally on each side. Of course, sticking out marginally on each side is still not enough. So we further refined our design by including a pivot that allows the TV to be rotated through 180 degrees so it is vertical behind the pillar. I'll show you that next. So I'm now standing on the opposite side of the pillar that has the screen mounted to it. If I walk around the pillar, you will see how the screen is now in a vertical orientation. It's not quite pushed back as far as it can be, but it just sits nicely behind the pillar. We can do this with each of the five screens in this church. As you can see now, we have a camera installed on this system, showing on all of the screens. There's a, another screen that sits at the front uh, on a trolley for those in the front row on the right hand side, which is not currently deployed. By the way, all of these screens are wireless units. We're using a high quality HDMI over wireless link system here with transmitters up in the balcony and a receiver on the back of each set. Here's a closer image of one of the receivers. Again, this is on a separate smaller monitor for use in a special needs area at the back of the church. And up above here, we can see the remote pan tilt zoom camera. This is the control rack for the video equipment. You can see there is a joystick remote control for the camera system. This has a number of presets that can be set to recall uh, particularly well used shots instantly and there's an integrated monitor so you can see what exactly what the camera is looking at even if it is not displayed on the screens currently. Just above that we have an HDMI socket and a four input HDMI switcher. So in all we have a very flexible AV system in the church. Very few wires running around, each set is supplied from a power socket behind the pillar, but there's no other interconnecting wires in the system apart from those between the controller and the camera. That concludes our brief tour of the St Francis of Assisi Church Bournemouth AV system. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Look out for our other videos on apicommunications.co.uk or search API Communications on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, hope to see you soon.